came here in 2010 and I've been learning marathon every year uh, especially I've done in local races like uh, the kind of marathon I've done in standard chartered marathon where I get my personal best of 2 hours 15 and uh, I've been going uh, places abroad like in Asia and uh, US also in uh, Canada where I learn uh, Rock and Roll Montreal Half Marathon in 2017 and I won Half Marathon. My biggest challenge in my running is when uh, I got uh, ill. Uh, that's when I um, used to go to Nairobi to check my passport. Unfortunately, I got the pneumonia and it has uh, been a great challenge for me uh, going out to run and again I got a problem and uh, just the back off. But uh, now, um, uh, because I went to hospital and I got the uh, medical attention and now I'm okay. I was planning for this year to do uh, two marathons, uh, which was Ch Choksha Marathon, uh, where I was going to do, uh, to try to uh, defend my title or to win. And uh, also Nairobi Marathon, which was my um, LSA, which I, I mean uh, uh, my ma main less of the year just to improve my personal best because in Nairobi has a very good condition and the course is very nice it is well organized and it's the first race that gives me opportunity to get a good time just to help me to end other races abroad these are the medals that I got from Jokshire Marathon in 2019 April 2019 and uh, this is a pinsa metal from the that list and uh, it was held in April 28 and this was the metal for the second winner and I was second in that uh, marathon so I was preparing for the marathon but unfortunately because of COVID-19 pandemic now uh, it has uh, made me to stay at home and also keep on training but also hoping that the, yes, the calendar could come out. I usually do my races in Asia because as you know uh, we are so many runners in Kenya and uh, it is so hard to get uh, a spot in uh, big management as you know we have top many top Kenyan runners and also us also we need to survive we need to run we need to get the competition out there to to, to try your best and uh, uh, run or you may win the race so it has been a very great challenge to get the management where you can get a sport to to be invited in europe or other big races that's why most of the time i go to asia you know asia the competitions are very tough and the conditions are very worse as you may know in asia it is hot and humid and uh, these conditions are so uh, hard for the runners to, to have a very fast time. So I go there because I like the challenge. Not that I don't uh, I don't run fast, but because I can endure that pain so that I can get something to survive, to help me and also my family where I come from. As you know, we depend on running and now the situation standing this, <laughs> it is it is so uh, difficult to, to, to continue uh, the training as you know because you can you, as you know it's hard to get the financial support i rely on running when i go to those races i get some money i used to take care of myself and also my family so also other runners actually i have uh, my fellow athletes uh please uh hold on uh, this situation will pass and we will uh, come back strong and uh, we will be winning uh, races. Trust me, uh, wherever you see a situation like this, you just uh, need to be patient, hold on, and uh, the rest uh, leave it to God. Um, and also, I would like to ask you please safe, uh, stay safe uh, and also keep social distancing always. Uh, as you know, our government, our, they are uh, directing us to do. Uh, this is not a time we are going to run in groups. This is the time we want to make sure we are following government directive and uh, we are safe so that we can uh, uh, get to the races when it comes.